Hi, this video is going to be part two of my heel series. So let's get started. In 2 Chronicles 7.14, it says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. We are God's people. He wants us to he wants us to he wants to heal us in every single area of our lives. For God to heal us, we have to humble ourselves before God by living in a lifestyle of humility. We also have to pray and seek the face of God. By doing this, God will give us a prayer lifestyle along with a stronger relationship in Him, which gives us the ability to see Him in ways that go beyond our imagination. We also have to repent by turning from our wicked ways, by confessing our sins, and not doing those sins anymore in our flesh. After humbling ourselves to God, praying, seeking his face, and repenting, Jehovah will hear from heaven, forgive our sins, and healing to the land. When God brings healing to the land, he heals everything that causes sickness and disease in our land. So God wants to heal every single one of us. And the way we do that, is by humbling ourselves before him and praying and seeking his face and turning from our sinfulness, our evilness, you know. And when we do that, God hears from heaven and he will forgive our sin and will heal our land by healing the people in the land that have sickness and disease. Psalm 6, 2 says, Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed. For God to heal his children, he needs to show mercy to us. Crying out for his mercy is a vital step to our healing journey. The reason we cry out for God's mercy is because we are weak. We are weak in the flesh. It is God's mercy that brings healing to us because he longs for us to be healed. We do this by crying out to the Lord for him to heal us. The bones within us are vexed. We have to be delivered from the vexes in our bones. And once we are delivered from those vexed bone, from the vexation in our bones, the Lord brings us a complete healing. So the Lord really wants to make sure that we are fully healed and that we are completely made whole in him and that we are made whole in him. And, you know, and we don't need to have any more vexed bones. Okay, God wants to deliver humanity that has been vexed so the Lord can bring about healing. Psalm 41 verse 4 says, I said, O Lord, be merciful unto me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. When we cry out to God for him to be merciful to us, we ask him to heal our soul. If we want experience, if we want to experience our whole healing, we have to be fully healed in our soul. We have to be healed in our mind, emotions, and will. We want God to show us mercy and healing because we have sinned against him. To get God's mercy and healing, we have to repent of our sins and not do them anymore. So you see, God really wants to bring more healing into our lives. And he wants to work his miracles and his cures in, in our lives as he heals us. Psalm 60 verse 2 says, Thou hast made the earth to tremble, thou hast broken it. Heal the breaches thereof, for it shaketh. God has made the earth to encounter trembling, brokenness, and shaking. The earth goes through trembles, shakings, and brokenness for the bre breaches to be healed. Like the earth, 
we too experience trembling, brokenness, and shaking. Usually this occurs when a personal crisis, trial, or affliction enters our lives. The trembles, shakings, and the brokenness that we encounter puts God into motion in our lives so he can heal the breaches that were caused by the trembles, shakings, and brokenness that rocked our body, soul, and spirit. God wants to heal us. God wants to heal us in every tremble, every shaking, every broken thing that happens to us, that we encounter. It puts God into motion in our lives. It brings God in our lives and puts him into motion so he can heal us where those things were breached in our lives. So the Lord really, God wants to work his healing into our lives. So Ecclesiastes 3.3 says, A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. There is going to be a time to kill and a time to heal. There will be a time to break down and a time to build up. When a time to kill comes, we are killing the flesh because of the sinful world we live in. We kill the flesh by crucifying it with all of its sin and evil tendencies. Our flesh needs to be killed because it leads to the healing process that starts inside of us. After the time of killing is done, God brings about the time of healing. Our healing starts in the spirit. Once the spirit is healed, then the soul gets healed. After the soul is healed, then the physical is healed. Healing starts with the spirit first. There will be a time to break down and a time to build up. The Lord really wants to heal us and he wants to bring his whole healing into our lives and he wants to heal this pandemic i know about covid19 i know it had to have been one of the worst pandemics in the world but jesus is the only one that can heal the world of that pandemic he could heal us of, of any sickness any disease that we experience so isaiah 19 22 says and the Lord shall smite Egypt, he shall smite and heal it, and they shall return even to the Lord, and he shall be entreated of them and shall heal them. The Lord smote Egypt with a plague. The plague killed people. After the plague was over, the Lord came and brought healing to the land. The smiting and healing was done so the people can return to the Lord. When the people return to the Lord, God will be entreated and heard by them, and he shall come and heal the people. Today, we are experiencing something similar with the coronavirus pandemic. The Lord has smote the land with a plague so he can heal it to make people return back to God. As the people return to God in the midst of this pandemic, he will be entreated and heard by the people his response will be to heal the land and the people living in the land. God wants to bring healing and he wants to heal our land of the coronavirus pandemic. He wants to heal it. But in order for him to heal it, we need to come back to God. We need to return to the Lord and we need to repent of our sins and everything that we've done sinful sinful because sin is a is temporary it's not eternal the temporary pleasures that this world gives gives do not match up to god's pleasures so by seeking god's pleasures god can bring healing to us and so that's what i want you to see so let's go on isaiah 57 and 18 says i have seen his ways and will heal him i will lead him also and restore comforts unto him and to his mourners god will see our ways after he sees our ways he will come and heal us he will also lead us and restore comfort unto us and to our mourners. God 
knows the condition we are in and he wants to heal us fully. We have to expect God to heal us because he is the leader and ultimate comforter in our lives. We're healing. Isaiah 57, 19 says, I create the fruit of the lips, peace, peace to him that is far off and to him that is near, saith the Lord. And I will heal him. When the Lord heals us, he creates the fruit of our lips. He gives us wonderful peace. By creating the fruit of our lips, he makes sure we are speaking the right words that will bear fruit and not words that will defile us. The Lord gives peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. His peace will bring more healing into his people that he created. God created us to have fruitful lips, peace, and healing. So, the reality that I want you to see is that God will, will completely bring healing into our lives. And we constantly need to be reminded <coughs> of his healing. And when we receive God's healing, we will know that it is truly God that healed us. It's not the world. It's not the what we listen to or what we hear on TV, but it is God. God is healer. Jesus is healer. The Holy Spirit is healer. The whole triune, the triune God is our healer. And when we get healed, we will know that it is God that heals us. So Lord, I just come before you and I ask God that you bring healing to your people, that you will heal where there needs to be healing, that you will perform miracles where there needs to be miracles, that you would cure people where there needs to be cures. And Lord, break in, break in, in our lives and heal us and bring the full healing into our lives, bring wholeness. Bring, may we be holy healed. May we be healed holy. May we be healed, Lord, in every single area of our lives. And Lord God, may you continue to release your healing into our lives. And for those of you that do not know Jesus as healer or as savior or as the Lord in your life, I ask that you come that you come and receive him and pray him. So pray this prayer. Heavenly Father, I receive your son, Jesus, into my life. I ask that he forgives me of all my sins. And I ask that he help me repent of my sins so that I could turn away from him, from them. And Lord, just heal, heal me because I did receive your son as my Lord and Savior. So bring your full healing into my life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So Lord, thank you for watching this video and God bless.